Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. With BandLab's included instruments and effects, you can make any kind of music you like. In this video, we'll show you how to make a kawaii future bass beat with jazzy chords, catchy leads, and high energy drums. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project BPM to an up-tempo 150 and the project key to G major. The first element I want to add is a chord progression to base the track around. I add a new virtual instrument track and set the instrument to synths, future keys. I compose an 8-bar chord sequence that plays G major 7, F major 7, E minor 7, F6, E minor 7, C major 7, B flat major 7, E flat major 7, F6, and E minor 7. I set this track to minus 10 dB to give me more headroom to add other elements to the mix. Next I want to add some drums. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads, dubstep. I set this track to minus 2.5 dB. I sequence closed hats on eighth notes for two bars. I sequence claps on the third beat of each bar and add an extra one the first and second beats of the second bar. I place a kick on the first beat of the first bar, the eighth note of the first bar, and the second and fourth notes of the second bar. I'd like to add some closed hat rolls. I set view grid size to 132nd, then delete the final hat on the first bar and replace it with a three note roll. I also make a roll between the third and fourth beats on the second bar. When I'm done, I change the grid size back to smart. I duplicate these notes out to fill the second half of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I then duplicate the clip so that it plays for the whole chord sequence. Next, I want to add a bass line. I create a new instrument track and set it to Synth Basses, Attack Bass. I set this track to minus 5.5 dB. The bass part plays G, A, E, A, G, C, E flat, A, G. Now I'd like a rhythm synth to help push the track along. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to synths, sparkle keys. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. This part follows the bass line, playing every other eighth note. To give this sound a lo-fi digital touch, I open the effects panel and add a distortion bit crusher effect. I set the intensity to 15% and the bits to 8. I'd like to beef up the chords a touch, so I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to synths, 
Retrosynth Brass. I set this track to minus 10 dB. I duplicate the chord MIDI over the keys track. Now I want to make a lead part. I add another instrument track and set it to Synths, Harris, Wobble. I turn this track down to minus 5.5 dB. The lead part plays G, G, D, A, G, C, D, E flat, A, A, G, and G. I'd like to make this lead part thicker, so I add another instrument track and set this one to leads, dub super saw. I set this track to minus 5.5 dB. I duplicate the MIDI part over from the original lead track. In the effects panel, I add a reverb, studio reverb, setting the size to 42%. Now I want another lead line to play a counter melody. I add a virtual instrument track and set it to leads, G-Funk Sign. I set this track to minus 8 dB. This part plays G, G, G-flat, G, G-flat, C, G, G, D, C, C, D, G, A, A, G, and G. I'd like to have another synth sound in the mix that's more unusual. So I add another virtual instrument track, and this time I pick Synth Bases, Zoom, R2-D2. I set the track to minus 5.5 dB. I duplicate the Rhythm Synth MIDI over. I select all the notes in the clip by pressing Command plus A on Mac, or Control plus A on Windows then clicking the minus 12 button three times to transpose it down three octaves. Now I'd like some effects to help make the arrangement flow smoothly. In BandLab Sounds, I click the Loops tab and enter Riser into the text search field. I drag speeding riser into the project, placing it on bar 6, and dragging the right hand edge of the clip to truncate it down to 3 bars in length. I turn this track down to minus 1 dB. Now I search for impact and drag DJN130 Impacts 2 into the project. I position this on the first bar. Again, I turn the track down to minus 1 dB.
Now I have all the elements I want to use. It's time to make an arrangement. The arrangement begins with the keys and drum beat playing. The first lead sound comes in on bar 9. On bar 17, the extra layers for the chords and the lead come in. The riser builds up to the drop on bar 25, where the bass, rhythm synth, and effects synth are introduced. I also add a side stick between each beat to help keep the energy level up. On bar 33, the counter melody is added. On bar 41, the drums and effects synth drop out for a beatless outro. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!